everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. At the Abbott Mansion, Jack complains to Tracy about running into Tucker, who wanted to discuss Ashley with him. He claims to be concerned about her, that she's acting erratically. Tracy learns that he's saying Ashley wants to be his partner again in romance and business. Jack feels this is his way of stirring up more trouble with the family. Jack invites Tracy to join him and Diane at the club, but she declines. Once alone, Tracy thinks about Ashley's strange behavior. Suddenly, Ashley is behind her. Please don't tell me that concerned look on your face has to do with me. Tracy replies. Unfortunately, it does. Ashley sighs, exasperated. Ashley insists she's over Tucker and she doesn't have to hover anymore. Tracy thinks that's great, but apparently Tucker isn't over her. Ashley learns about his conversation with Jack and urges Tracy not to believe his garbage. Tracy has to admit she's been moody and not quite herself. Ashley fumes that she won't let her forget that she was wrong about what happened in the cafe. She hollers at Tracy for believing McCall over her own sister. In the jazz lounge, Tucker runs into Audra and convinces her to sit down with him at the bar. He tells her she's right to be upset about this thing with Ashley, which is none of his concern. You are, only you, you're everything. Audra gops, now you agree with me that Ashley's faking her crazy? Tucker says, I do, after careful consideration. Audra thinks he's telling her what she wants to hear to get his way. Tucker wheedles, you're all I want. He says Ashley's problem is hers to deal with and her family's. He just told Jack as much. Tucker cannot lose her. I won't. What can we do to get back to where we were? At the ranch, Victor is hollering into the phone. You find the woman and you call me when Adam walks in. He tells his son he's going to find Jordan and put an end to her. Victor asks what brings Adam by. He says he's heading to the East Coast tonight with Chelsea and Connor. His work will be taken care of it. Victor learns that Connor has OCD and they're doing everything they can to get him through it. He asks, what's the cure? Adam says there's no cure, but there are tools to manage it, which he'll get at the treatment center. Victor tells his son to take the jet. Adam says Nick already made the offer. It's nice to know they have his blessing too. Victor assures Adam they can come to him for whatever they need. Adam tells him that means more than he knows. Victor knows what it's like to have a child who suffers, and there's nothing he can do about it. Adam confides in Victor about Connor's plight and wonders, how do I help him? Victor thinks they're making the right move. Just trust yourself. Adam worries he's screwing up and what's happening is his fault. Connor didn't exactly have the most stable childhood. Victor says the same was true for Adam, but he's proud of the man that boy has become, of the father he's become. Victoria walks in and asks Victor if he's seen Claire. She wants him to alert the security team. Adam says she's probably fine. Victoria says that's not good enough with Jordan on the loose. Victor and Adam assure her that security is very tight. Adam says, I could barely get in. Victoria responds, that's because they don't like you. It doesn't mean that Claire didn't figure out a way to leave. Victor doesn't think Claire would leave on her own. Victoria says, I wouldn't be so sure. Michael walks into crimson lights and spots Claire sitting alone. She tells him she's celebrating. This is her first time out in the real world by herself since she was released from the hospital. Michael's surprised that her family would let her out on her own with Jordan on the loose. Claire says she didn't tell them. Her aunt doesn't scare her and she can't let her control her life anymore. Michael can't help but worry about her being unprotected. Claire says, duly noted, but what seems like a risk to you feels absolutely amazing to me. She gushes, I'm free of her. Michael chuckles. You are a very strong young woman, like your mother. Just then, Lauren appears. Michael kisses her and makes introductions. Lauren recaps that she's gone through a lot and came out the other side. Claire owes a lot to her husband. 
Lauren teases that getting to know the Newmans is a full-time job, and they share a laugh. She asks what Claire will do. Claire is telling her she wants to work with kids as Summer comes in. Summer averts her eyes, but Claire calls out to her. Michael and Lauren leave, and Claire invites Summer to join her. Summer has to get back to work. Claire studies her and then asks, You learned the whole truth about me, didn't you? Summer says, Yeah.